Welcome to WMAR 2 News at 6. Thanks for watching and streaming us. I'm Jamie Costello. And I'm Kelly Swoop. You know, this summer we have seen the violence unleashed across Baltimore City with a growing number of young people involved in it. But as students head into the classroom, WMAR 2 News' Kendall Green is sharing the efforts to encourage our youth to rise above the violence. It's a summer day well spent for kids in East Baltimore, dancing to music, playing and enjoying their peers. <laughs> An oasis for students who have seen the same crime scene tape we have, often involving you. That's a reality. The vice principal of Fort Worthington has been drenched in. When the adults in the community fail to provide warmth and love to the children in the village, they can't get mad when those same children set the village on fire to find that warmth and that love. It's just been a lot of gun violence going on in the city. Educators and mentors like Danny Johnson are hoping to encourage youth ahead of the upcoming school year to avoid the distractions. So we're teaching um, gun violence. We're teaching um, how to how to apply yourself and how to react to it, how to react if it's, you know, if it's a traumatic um, experience to you. Um, we're also teaching about conflict resolution in regards to gun violence, how to resolve the situation. Why are you It's a line for Terry Williams in a play, but as a parent, he's encouraging other parents to play a stronger role in curbing the violence across Baltimore. We need you! Parents, we have to play a much more active role in our children's lives. We have to admit some hard truths, and that is that the mother's messed up, the father's messed up, auntie and uncles, the village is not there. Johnson echoing the need for more adults to engage our youth. We got to set good examples in the community for these kids, man. They the future that they, we need to guide them. We got to protect our kids, protect our blocks. Our children are our number one resource. And if we don't find time for them, then the community is lost anyway. If we can get one kid and get one family, then we get back one community. In Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMAR 2 News. So tonight we're taking an in-focused look at the number of children that have been arrested so far this year. It's our commitment to digging into the data behind the big story. Based on the information that we got from the Baltimore Police Department, 510 teens between 14 and 19 years old have been arrested since January 1st. The most common charge with more than 120 arrests is handgun violations. Many of these incidents were not assigned to a specific police district, but of the ones that were, the Central District saw the most teen arrests, followed by the Western District and Eastern District. It also appears that no one younger than 13, not younger than 14, rather, has been arrested so far this year. Well.